Hello everyone, I'm the Crimson DM, and welcome back to Crimson Play Cement Mixer Simulator 2003. Now in the last episode, we went somewhere weird. Let's do it again, shall we? Oh hey, see this is the corn. The plumbus corn. Um. Okay, and we just teleported. Cool. Now, the game is lagging just a little bit for some reason. That's not good. Alright, well, we're going to keep going through and see what happens. But, oh wow. And do you hear that? I, I, turn, I try to turn up the volume of the, the audio a little bit. And I realized that I've dreamed this before. Weird. You ever have those those moments where you realize that you've dreamed something before you've actually seen it? Like, before you've experienced it? I do that sometimes. Unfortunately, I seem to only do it for like the most useless stuff, such as video games. Now I know that there is a uh, there's a secret hole around here that I do not want to fall into, but I would like to just explore a little bit and see what's all here. I mean, the creator did put all his time and effort into creating this little universe. Ah! I fell for it. Oh, I'm seeing a story also. Oh, you're not dead. I don't think you're dead. I think you're vomiting babies and feeding them. Really creepy looking babies, my dude. Ugh. Oh man, there's an actual story going on. It's weird, but I can see it. I didn't realize there was a story. I just thought it was a weird game. But there's an actual story. Hold on, I gotta move my chair. It's gonna squeak. There's an actual story going on. Like, see, we've established that those guys with the plunger heads are kind of like butt monkeys in charge of these guys who are creepy but kind of pathetic. And these things, I would assume these Stegosaurus guys are bad guys who set up this trap using food. The same kind of food that the creepy naked dudes like. Alright, let's try that again and see where we go. Can I... Can I do this easier? Alright, not really. Oh man, okay, so... Um... I think that's a silo? I don't want to go to the silo. I want to go to the barn. I've seen screenshots of the barn, and I think the barn looks like a fun place to go to. Okay, so I can't go through it that way. Let's try going around here. Why does this area lag my game? I don't know, but maybe it's just the uh, blight town of this universe. So the Stegosaurs, they have their own little farm. They uh, seem quite proud of it, in fact. And I can go inside their farm with their creepy faces. And, uh, man, I do believe that that was a baby feeding thing. What's this? Okay. I'm going to be saying that a lot through this game. What's this? What's this? I really want to know. What's this? What's this? It's creepy, don't you know? What is this great thing that's sticking its head out? At a skull. Well, you certainly know what you like. I'm, uh, 
gonna go this way. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna pretend I didn't see you staring at your skull fetish. Dude, you're even looking over here as if it's to tell me to go there. Well, I'm glad none of this is moving, because if it was, I'd be real freaked out. I'm only mildly freaked out as it stands. Um... So, I don't know what the point of this is, if I want to be honest. Like, I don't know how you're supposed to quote-unquote beat the game. Um, or unlock new levels. It's supposed to be complete, as far as I can tell. So, there needs to be more than these two levels, right? Like, all these doors need to go to a level? Oh, that's where I started. So, I think I went down that direction last time, so let's try going this direction and see where it takes me. Now, this is definitely what one might call a walking simulator. Oh, can I go up there? I want to go up there. Ow, my face itches. Okay, let's go up here. Ooh, can I go around here? I want to go around here. Ooh, is it shiny? I want a shiny. Yeah. Ooh, it goes around? I like going around. Hold on a minute. Okay, so... I have a feeling that the music of this game is also highly important. And I don't know if you can hear it, but it's not just kind of ambient, beautiful, but a little bit creepy music. There's sounds, and I hear the sounds of a bathtub. So far I'd argue that water is an important theme. I thought I was going to fall off. Theme of this game. Oh man, this is unnerving. One step at a time, my dear. But yeah, water is an important theme of this game. And I don't know why. I'm going to avoid the chest set, because that looks like an automatic new level transition. Oh, wow. And I can yump. I did it. This. This is a level transition. Right? The silo. Ah! Okay. Um. Hold on, give me a minute. I need to contextualize what I just experienced. Ah! Okay, so. This music's really nice. I would love, desperately love to have this soundtrack, by the way. Just whenever I need to write or something, this soundtrack is amazing. But I don't understand what I just experienced. How come you have X's on certain sides, y'all? I wonder what that means. See, everything here has a meaning, I'm sure of it. Some meaning. And it may not be obvious, and it may not be important. Like, okay, so we also have another fire extinguisher up here. I'm sure that that's not random. See, there's... Hold on, am I... What am I hearing? I don't know what I'm hearing, but I kind of love it. It's weird. Okay, so fire extinguisher, right? So let's uh, let's think about this. We've seen two fire extinguishers right, so far. They're glowing. They're red. They're bright. They stand out. They're they're obviously important to the theme of this game. I don't know what that is. That's a cement mixer. Okay, that's a that's an actual cement mixer again. But 
Yeah, these. Oh no. I don't have to go back up there. But these, uh, these fire extinguishers are important. So are the cement mixers. But I mean, that might just be. Oh man, I can't actually do that. That might just be important for you know the title of the story's sake. Um, water. I can't go very far. That's fine. Let's see what I can do. I'll get back to you if I figure out anything else. Aha! I touched the fire extinguisher. And it did nothing. I might have to just return to the hub. I mean, maybe I beat the level. Right? And if, and if I didn't, I know how to get back here, right? Right? Left. Okay, that's fire. Um, I guess I'll be going back in here and trying to figure it out. But, I'm going to leave this for this episode, and I'll get back to you guys in the next one. So if you liked it, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Let's spread this awesome game and its weirdness together. And, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.